In this little video, I'm going to show you how to print your records. And you can print them in a lot of different formats. You can print a record listing, you can print letters, you can print legal forms, all within uh, the software that you're using here. Let's start by just looking for the zip code 98008 with refund amounts greater than $1,000. And click Search. I chose, chose this because I knew it would be a pretty limited amount. But here we've got 11 records available, and I can see them all here. I'm going to select them all. Now if I scroll down to the bottom of this window, this is where the different print options are. Now if I want to start by sending a letter, an intro letter, to all of these people, I would choose one of these two intro letters. I'm going to select the intro letter for check mailed to borrower, and then I'll press print. The next screen that's going to come up is going to merge all 11 records with the data. Sometimes this takes a few seconds. Here we go. This is sort of a print preview screen, and what you can see is the data is being merged with the letter. And uh, if you kind of read through it, you'll see that the U.S. government is holding 11 $81.45 of Keith Friedley, and that we're offering to process it for 20% of the claims value, which would mean that $236.29 would come to me. So this, this gives me a little preview of how the letter will merge, and then the, here's my information at the bottom, and then the next letter starts. They don't paginate well in this print preview screen, but don't worry about that. My favorite way to print these is by actually exporting them to a PDF file. The reason for this is because I can then save these files on my desktop in a documents folder and keep track of what I've printed over time. So if you want to export to a PDF file, you select that file format and click Export. A pop-up screen will arrive asking me if I want to open or save this file. Saving it will, save it right, will prompt me to give it a file name and it will save to my desktop. But for right now, I'm just going to open it. This way I can view my 11 letters. Now, you can see here that uh, my letters are merged. They're, it's merged rather large, so it's a little hard for you to see. Let me shrink this down. Here you go. You can see here's page one. If I click through, I can see all 11 of my letters. All I have to do at this point is press the print icon let me resize this so you can see. I'll press click the print icon and I can print this right to my printer. I prefer the PDF format because I think it actually formats the text in a nicer manner as well. When I'm done with that I can delete it and I'm returned to my uh, database where I was working. Now if I click on Search HUD, it will actually return me to the data I was just looking at. So if I wanted to print another file, or if I wanted to um, edit something, I could do that from here. But let me just show you a couple of the other print options. From here, I can print the authorization agreements, various intro letters, letters to send borrower with a tracer form, the power of attorney, tracer form, found case form, and the one I want to show you next is the print report. This is the way you could print records if you wanted more of a listing, more like you would receive from HUD itself. I'm going to click on print report and click print. And as you can see here, this formats it into columns and a table so that you could print it and see 25 records at a time that you can print. This can be useful again to keep in your files to know who you mailed things to. Um, I, I like to keep paper records. Some people are paperless, and that's great too, but this works also. Now, if you don't want to print to PDF, you can just click on this icon here, and it will bring up your print screen menu that will allow you to print to your local printer. Uh, some people find that they have problems with this and will be asked to install an ActiveX uh, little application in order to print through that icon. If that box pops up asking you to accept the ActiveX application, just say yes and it will enable you to print using the print icon. That's all I have for you on printing from the Search HUD screen.